Welcome to Taisha's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki is probably a sauce that you think when you think of Japanese food. You think of sushi, you think of tempura, and then probably teriyaki sauce. You don't even have to buy extra teriyaki sauce as long as you have sugar and soy sauce. It's really simple, but still, it's very tasty. Then, let's get started. The ingredients for teriyaki chicken is very simple. You have the chicken thigh. Uh, it doesn't have to be thigh, but uh, I find it tastes best with the thigh. And then soy sauce and meeting, which is rice syrup. Uh, if you don't have meeting, that's okay. You can easily substitute with brown sugar. And also, if you have a big bottle of soy sauce like this, I urge you to store it in the fridge because soy sauce will start tasting bad uh, when it comes contact with oxygen. So uh, what I do is that I have this big bottle in the fridge and I have this small bottle for the table and for cooking and fill it whenever it, it gets empty so that this big bottle of soy sauce stays cool and stays at least uh, contact with the oxygen. So let's debone the chicken. If you live in a place where you uh, have easy access to deboned chicken, then great, use that. I live in Germany right now and we, we can't buy boneless chicken thighs, so we have to do it ourselves. So uh, by deboning chicken, you want to know kind of the anatomy of the chicken. So this is the leg, this is the knee joint, this is the hip joint, this is the ankle. And then I want to cut through the joint and separate the top and the bottom part. And this is the knee joint and it, there's a part where you can very easily cut through the cartilage here. A little bit above where it bends here. And then I'm going to cut this open like so and then I'm gonna cut the skin all around the ankle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this, pull this towards me and push the knife away from me and kind of goes around the bone and it peels off nice and easy like that. So the bottom part is finished. And then I'm going to cut through here alongside until I meet the thigh bone right here. So I'm going to cut alongside the bone again here until halfway. And then I'm going to cut this part off. And then again, I'm going to cut alongside the bone right here and cut this part off around. And then it's finished. Here, you can cut this excess fat and uh, skin away. And then no, I like to cut this in half like this. So you have kind of have like three pieces which is about the same size. And these bones, uh, don't throw them away, you can make really good broth out of these bones. Uh, I'm going to show you in another video how to make a very great soup out of that. So that's finished. So let's start cooking. I'm gonna turn on the heat for rice uh, so that it'll get cooked about the same time. And I'm going to turn the frying pan to high as well, put a little bit of oil. Not too much, just a little bit, because from the skin you also get uh, the oil as well. I'm just gonna wait till it's heated. So, it's getting warm. I'm just gonna turn down the heat to medium here, because I want to grill the skin part well first. So I'm gonna put that in, yeah, put the skin out. Just distribute it evenly. I'm gonna cook with medium heat for about five minutes. So rice is getting cooked. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and then I'm gonna turn the heat to low. So the skin is crispy, so we're gonna turn the chicken the other way around, like so, and let it cook with medium heat for another five minutes or so. So 
So it's uh, burnt on both sides, and uh, there's a little bit of excess oil, so I'm gonna take that away with a paper towel because I don't want to have it too oily. And now here I'm going to put in sugar first, and then sake. If you don't have sake, you can just put in water. And then a little bit of kneading, and then at the end, soy sauce. And I'm gonna cook in the soup of this sauce. We're gonna wait till the sauce is thicker. And so it's finished. Then let's put it on its plate. Cut them up in pieces so that you can And then put the sauce over. Then it's finished. Itadakimasu! Let's eat. Mmm. Let get the sauce around. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's teriyaki sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. 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 Oh, it matches the rice. Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's awesome. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so simple and yet tasty. Mm. Mm. There's a phrase in Japanese you say, Hashi ga tomaranai, means uh, the chopstick doesn't stop. And this is exactly what that is. My chopstick has its own mind and keeps putting it in my mouth. Mm. And it matches the rice perfect. Mm. And I'm gonna wrap it up in lettuce. Mm. 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 Oh. This teriyaki sauce and the lettuce is also a great match. Mmm. Mmm. Gochoumashita! Ya, oishikatta! Yeah, like I said, the chopstick, chopsticks didn't stop me. It was really delicious. Uh, like you saw, it was also very easy. Hope you try it yourself as well. I made it for my uh, foreign friends very often and they always love it. They always love this teriyaki sauce. And yeah, uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.